Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. It is Labor Day and we have kind of had a chill morning at home. We have needed it after our busy weekend. Peter was cleaning the kitchen. I was editing the vlog. Um, and now it's time for the boys to snooze. And so we're kind of just getting ourselves together to feel a little bit more like put together before we head to the south side tonight for some dinner at my sister Christina's. So that is our plan. Definitely taking a deep breath after we've been so go, go, go this weekend. at night purchase. I'm gonna unbag these. And they're gonna go where like the winter garland went last year because we still have the hooks and I think it's gonna look great. It matches our wreath so nicely. And then once it's winter, we'll be able to change it out. But it is nice, like, I like that it's like more taut to the ceiling because like garland is supposed to drape more like the greenery that we have at Christmas time or this, I don't want to like feel like there's a tree in my house. So like, this is nice that it's like not super in our space, but definitely makes our living room feel so nice and festive. So nice. Well, I'll link it. Um, we got it from Amazon. I'll link it in the description. All right, Jamesy. Time for a quick 5K, right? Gotta get three miles in the feet. Since James has to take a nap, he usually falls asleep. So it would be a good idea because it'll control my pace to be a little slower after such a long run on Saturday. We'll go into the lake. James fighting his nap, but you can kind of see some of the smaller trees in that tree. The leaves are already turning. It was like hot and sunny on Saturday, and then yesterday it was like gloomy and breezy and cool, and today it's so gloomy, breezy, and cool, and it's like fall's already forcing its way in. It's bittersweet. I don't want to look forward to the winter here, but I love fall. But like, leaves are already, I'll get a shot closer to like the underpass we go on, but we were running this way under the underpass. We came out and it was like, yellow leaves were falling. I was like, excuse me, it's fall already? Just like that, but I like it. All right, it might've been a slight exaggeration, but leaves are turning and leaves are falling. See it there. Alrighty. Now it is my turn to get some activity in. I got my Peloton shoes. Getting myself snapped in. All right, Peter actually made his own profile. So if you wanna follow Peter, that's his username. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my first Cody Rigsby Disney ride. I'm excited about this too. They just announced a big Taylor Swift yoga flow um, series on Peloton. So super excited for that. Super excited for a clean kitchen. Peter, Peter did all of the work in here today. I'm so grateful for him. Let's just commit to one part, okay? One part. Which part is he gonna Even choose? It's beautiful and fun and magical, but in all honesty, 
That's a lot of things you guys, and I want a little bit more excitement today. Grilling burgers. Oh, it's smoky, smoky. What did you say? Smoke party. Smoke party. We also have antipasto salad from Pete, as well as fries cooking inside. <laughs> oh, oh he's gonna get you. Like them swinging? Sure. We're home now. Teddy's watching Bluey. Look at these sweet jammies he's got on. We left the cigars a little earlier than usual tonight. Their kids have been going to school earlier with school, and it's just nice for us to have a little bit of time um, before we go to bed. But we're gonna start bedtime with the boys. Peter's getting James changed now, and Teddy's all fresh. I actually did not sleep much last night. Um, Teddy's just been having some trouble transferring. I think I'm going to order a Kite Baby sleep sack. My friend Lauren, she swears by the quality of them. And they're not weighted, but they are a bit heavier. And I think that really helped James. Um, but the sleep sack that we had for him um, is just a little bit like it's too... like. Teddy's not old enough to use it yet. And I have some hesitation with it. Um, yeah, it's kind of besides the point, but I think I just want to get a nice new one. I think, I think our biggest issue right now is that we're just getting used to not being swaddled anymore. I've been swaddling with his arms out. Um, and we have done that because now he can roll. But I think he's just getting used to even just having his arms out because he's had his arms in since he was born. And he always did find his way out, but I do think it makes a difference in his, like, um, like staying asleep when I transfer him and, like, the length of his sleep. So we're just taking it day by day and trying, trying all the things um, to make sure that he, he sleeps and that I get sleep because when he isn't happy when I transfer him. I'm, I've been staying awake to make sure he gets like nice and good and asleep. So I'll, I'll be awake for like almost an hour in the middle of the night and then he wakes up again. So, but that's just, that's just how things are right now. I like your company in the middle of the night. It's nice. I don't mind, but we gotta sleep. Sleep is important. We're at our favorite French bakery. Good morning. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> yes, we're at our favorite French bakery. Alrighty, we were made happy with some food. We got Jamesy this avocado toast with an egg. And we got this little baguette sandwich. And I got a croque monsieur. Okay, this is a better instance of fall where there's actual leaves falling. Sometimes I feel like we have to stop and like point it out because we're so used to not having fall and it's like we also want to enjoy it. Both the kids are sleeping. Um, we're so like, summer stay, fall come. We're just like. I you know, it's such an internal battle. I want fall to come if it's going to be like two, three months of it. Right, we want like enjoyable, lovely sweatshirt weather. Yeah, I feel like very often nowadays in Chicago, it's like fall for a couple weeks and then it's freezing cold. Yeah. Um, we're just going on a stroll. The kids didn't sleep well last night to the point where I didn't even, I didn't even work today. Took it off, so secret five day weekend. Four, four day weekend. Four day weekend. Um, but now they're both clunked out. 
Yeah, so, so just walk in the neighborhood. Yeah, there's some Jewel deals we're gonna go get. And Sarah needs her Pepsi fix. We haven't had Pepsi in a while. There's a buy two, get two free. James's favorite story is asleep, but look what they have out. We might have to buy one. I like that one. That I greenish like, one? Yeah. Okay, let's see if there's some inside and then maybe we'll, I'll run out and grab that one. But we just don't have any. Table, table, <laughs> table. I guess we haven't really like finished our dining table. Right. Playing with our cars and our ramps yeah, in the yeah. early afternoon sun. What you got? Are oh, you gonna mix some, something up good? Wanna try one? Sarah just put Teddy down for a nap. This is another one of Grandma's favorites for the fall. I'm gonna cut it in half, okay? He says, nope, I'm just gonna bite it in half. Mmm. Chocolate caramel. Mmm. <laughs> it's kind of different. <laughs> Went for it. We got an apple candle burning. We've got a bunch of fall trout and coffee playing because I like his aesthetic and the music. Ooh, let's do this one. These flowers. Are, are you liking these flowers? I am. You were kind of like, hmm, when I was when I suggested buying the garland. I know, because just like I want. It's an alec tacky. <laughs> exactly. Like if it's not, if it's fake leaves, like they just have to be nice quality. And, and we and we have the pillowcases on the pillows. Look at all the fi the fall vibes. Ah. I think we need to up it. I think we need more fall vibes. Yeah. Yeah. I think we need just as much fall as we do winter Christmas. There are some things that we need to figure out if they're going away or if they're going out. Yeah. But I feel like that's mostly fall and less Halloween. Yeah. So which one are we going to... This one. I don't think I've tried this one. The blood orange herbal. Okay. I'll go steep it. Thank you. What we're both going to have. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a little helper with me now. Who is this happy kid waking up from a nap? <laughs> you hear your big brother playing? <gasps> I think mommy's getting him. Mommy's getting him. <laughs> Hi. Come on. Let's go play with them. Let's go play. All right, since both Sarah and I are having tea, we're gonna use our double sweet pea mugs. Oh, that is a nice color. All right, James and I are gonna go grocery shopping. We're gonna hit up Aldi and Target. Should be a good, nice trip. There he is right back there. <laughs> Ready to go shopping? Wait till you see these pigeons. There's a bunch of pigeons out here. You ready? It's our favorite combo. We hit up Aldi. Number one lowest price in Illinois. And then Target right across the street. Let's do this. All right, we're almost, we're almost done at Aldi. They just, we're missing a lot. So we're definitely gonna have to go to Target or Jewel after this. But James was a great helper. Here we are, one of our wonderful city targets with basement parking. You don't see that every day. James, are you having fun? This is an escalator. Alrighty, so since the boys have been grocery shopping, Teddy and I have been productive too. We put away a bunch of laundry that you might have been seeing on the couch. Um, so we finally have full access of our couch again. I cleared out the fridge. I'm actually gonna do like a good wipe down of it too real quick, um, just so that it's ready for a full, a full load of groceries. And then, Teddy's looking at me so sweetly, I gotta show you him. Hi. You being such a good helper, yeah? Kick, 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 kick. Look at this cute outfit he's got on today. Yeah, so he's just been hanging out with me. Um, we had given him a bottle when he was um, younger, like when he was teeny tiny, he took a bottle great. 
Um, we never really had to supplement, but we did in a moment's notice. I have pumped some. I We've also given him formula um, to give Peter the opportunity to feed him, but also just in a moment's notice if I'm never not home. But recently, he has stopped taking a bottle. I don't know if it's just now he's extremely used to nursing or if the formula is freaking him out because it's not my milk. Um, so we've kind of been trying a couple of things, but something that Lauren suggested is that um, because we use the Tommy Tippy brand Binky that he really likes to try a Tommy Tippy bottle. She is she's who told me about the Binkies, and that was the bottle she used. So she did it the opposite way, like she'd use those bottles, so she tried out the Binky. Well, he likes the Binky, so I ordered one of those bottles, and it just arrived. So I have some water boiling. I'm gonna sterilize it, and then. We're gonna try and see if he likes it. We do have a couple of things coming up this fall that would require me not to be with him for not super long, but long enough that we would want um, him to be able to have to have somebody else feed him. So we're going to work our way back into liking bottles again, right? Yes, yes. What do you think, Evie? James, you never. James, you're never gonna realize what's even on the other side of you. James, look at these bluey sets. They are the greatest things in the entire world. Look at them. It's the park play set. Look at It's Muffin. Muffin and the Cat Squad bike. <gasps> Is that so great? Or the bus? Or their car? <gasps> their schoolmates? <gasps> oh, I want all of this, including this house. This would be this. James would literally, I don't even know what he would do if we brought that home. Soon. Not today, but soon. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We're going to take Muffin home. Okay. He's Mr. Shopping Extraordinary. He's come to help do our little haul. So we got the, the counters ready. So we got a lot. Whoa, you want a tomato? You're scaring me leaning over like that. Get up any closer. So over here we got black beans. Ooh, James is showing you. Pasta, spaghetti, open. We we're gonna have that for dinner, actually. We should have to cook it. Open. We've got onion powder, parsley, Frank's Red Hot Original, some green pepper chili. Ooh, do you want one of these? Are you a hungry kid? Here, take that. Mmm, delicious. One at a time, okay? We have some dumplings, some French bread. We're gonna have that in some oil and cheese tonight. A new mandolin. We've actually never owned a mandolin. Just say a new mandolin, but a mandolin. Sarah doesn't know about these pepper jack filled pretzel bites. Um, some tofu, mushrooms, yogurts for Sarah and Jamesy, all different varieties of tomatoes, some couscous, peppers on peppers on cucumbers on zucchinis, fresh bag of taters, fresh bag of onions, I couldn't find red cabbage, so I bought this um, already sliced up. The, the intent was to buy the mandolin and the cabbage and mandolin and slice it ourselves. Some bread goes in there. Spinach, lettuce. Hey, slow down, baby. Here, take that one. Okay, we're gonna close these for the moment. I actually have a donut. I have a special treat for you and mom. Over here, we've got pumpkin spice Oreo, apple crisp coffee, some veggie broths, apple crisp donuts, oat milk, sparkling fresh pumpkin spice apple cider, pumpkin spice coffee creamer, all the pumpkin spice and fall things, some guac, flour and wheat, tortillas, pita, butter, hummus of various accords. You want a tomato? 
I'll get this open for a tomato for you. And Jamesy also got a bluey toy. You got muffin. Ow. Open. Okay, thank you for asking. Olive oil. Oops, I wasn't filming. We had some olive oil. For seasoning, two spoonfuls of minced garlic, salt, pepper, a ton of basil. Ooh, getting foggy. And crushed red pepper. Depending on how spicy you like it, keep it keep it minimal or load it on. And then a squeeze of lemon in there. And then just mix it on up. Let it cook, then have like the noodles soak in the veggie broth. There's no straining, everything just stays right in the pot. I'm gonna cover it for a little bit just to kick it up a notch. I'm hungry and I know the boys are too. And then anything like, take a taste of it after it's done and um, see if you wanna add anything. Probably, probably more salt and pepper and we'll probably top it with Romano cheese. I walked away and I totally forgot to put spinach in it. So I put like two big handfuls of spinach and that'll cook down. It's boiling, so I'm gonna turn it, turn it to low while it cooks the rest of the way. And it's done in like 30 minutes. So here's Jamesy's bowl and then our bowls of pasta. And then I also got some olive oil with some cheese and pepper to dip bread in as well as butter. All right, friends, we are going to have our sparkling fresh pumpkin spice apple cider. I rolled the Peloton, it's late. But Sarah was like, hey, why don't we have this? So I think it's the first moment all day that we're like relaxing together, which that's life, you know? Um, fingers crossed the kids sleep better tonight because I need to work tomorrow. Also have an eight mile run tomorrow. A little bit of a long mid-week run, right? So the plan is to get that done before work. So I'm gonna go relax on the couch and listen to some like rain videos, cause why not? Look how cozy this setup is. We're gonna realign these lights because this is the only corner you can see. They've fallen behind the couch everywhere else. Extra cozy, right? This is good. It, Sarah said it kind of is. Sarah said it's kind of almost like a pumpkin fizz, but not yeah, quite like a pumpkin. Apples makes it more tart. And I would definitely get these all the time to have all season long. Yeah, and I think we should. Can you sign up? It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled. Walt Disney Productions.